What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. And welcome to Lavender Town. Or Pokemon Yellow, I suppose. Last episode, we made it to Lavender Town. I was orgasming about how awesome it is. Ghosts appear in the Pokemon Tower. I think they're spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. Aw, that's sad. Um, this tower is known as a gravesite of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in the Pokemon Tower. This place used to scare the heck out of me as a child. Like, I would literally turn down the volume at this part of the game because I was terrified of this. The song in particular scared me. Like, it's just, it's terrifying. Is it not? Maybe not so much, but like, for a Game Boy Color game, this is, this is crazy. Yes. Really? There are believers. Do you believe in ghosts? Ha ha ha, I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. That's creepy. I got, I just got goosebumps from reading that. Like, that's so creepy. I'm sure rereading that as a child scared the heck out of me too, because I was pretty young playing this, like I was saying. Do you have anything new or interesting at the Mart? I'm searching for items that raise the abilities of Pokemon during a single battle. X attack, X defense, X speed, and X special are what I'm after, yep. Do you know where I can get them? So yeah, those do increase your stats for one battle. Like, we have to use them in battle, and you can only use one at a time, so it's kind of pointless. It's just a waste. Uh, do you know revive or uh, revives any fated Pokemon? Indeed, it does. I should buy revives. Um, what should we buy? We do need some potions. Buy five. We do have a lot of money actually, so there's there's no need to like worry about wasting money. Um, buy zero repels now. We are going to buy. Um, a few antidotes, we'll buy five of them, because, I, let's, let's be, you get poisoned a lot in this game. Uh, what else do you want? Paralyzed heal, we'll get two of those. I think we already have one, actually, so. Paralyzation's super annoying, and I'd probably just swap a Pokemon before I ever do anything. Okay, let's buy, a, let's buy a freaking ten of these. There we go, boy, ten of these, Crocky might. Okay, um, revive. We'll buy, f let's buy ten, no, let's not, that's, that's actually super expensive. Let's buy five of those as well. Yeah, we're just wasting all the monies. We'll buy five great balls. There we go. We're rich, why not? Ha! Thanks, come again. <laughs> I forgot that was the shopkeeper's voice. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Uh, I don't really talk to people much in all towns. I started doing that on the, uh, whatever the orange town is where we got Myrtle. Squirtle Myrtle. Hello, hello, I'm the official name ranger. Want me to rate nicknames of your Pokemon? Heck yes. Which Pokemon should I look at? Needle King! Needle King, is that it? That's a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? Heck yes. How about... Fine! What should we... He just said you would name it. And thus, Bunny Fufu is born! Bunny Fufu because he looks like a bunny from behind. Okay, this Pokemon has been renamed. You know what, that, that's actually not as funny as I pictured it being. Actually, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> so yeah, here's the name Raider. I've been looking forward to meeting this guy ever since I caught it around since I didn't name him. And there we go. I hate those horrible rockets! That poor Keybone's mother. It, it was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Oh, shut up. No big deal. Kairugru! You get out. No wonder they killed those. Those things are disgusting looking. Blech. Um, do we go in this place? Can we please move? Thank you. What's this say? I'm in a volunteer Pokemon house. Were we in here? Oh, no, we were not. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Um, Pokemon monthly grand prize drawing. The application form is gone! It's been clipped out! Okay. Hey! Oh, Nidorino. That's not, that's not a Nidoran. Or was that second evolution? I'm, I always get mixed up between, like, the female Nidoran. Or, or is that... I don't know. I'm confused. This is really Mr. Fuji, Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after her abandoned orphan Pokemon. I'm sure he does not. A town map. So shouldn't, be, shouldn't the Cubone be in here, to be honest, instead of that other house we were just in? Say that. Guapa, that make more sense since... Well, it did say it was kill trying to kill its mother, or trying to save its mother. So I was known as a grave site of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Okay. Well. Welcome to the next dungeon of the game, guys. 
And let's throw... Let's throw Kiwi up front. Alright, let's go inside here. And... Oh, by the way! I talked about Mr. Mime. I came to pray for my Clefairy. Stiff. I can't stop crying. And I'm actually deciding not to go for Mr. Mime. I'm gonna get something else. I said I was gonna get him in between episode... I believe 18 and 19, and then I just completely forgot about it because there was a new recording session after that. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you! I didn't sneeze. <laughs> and speaking of new recording session... Oh. That's the exact same as that! Or is it? Oh, it has... Okay, it's slightly different. Well, holy crap, it, it glows occasionally. That's weird. I wonder if it glows like... No, I was gonna say, I wonder if it glows like with the actual GameCube, but no, it does not. Pokemon Tower was erected. <laughs> erected. In memory of Pokemon that had died. Never grew up! My Growlithe, why did you die? Because he hated you! I am a Chandler! There are spirits up to mischief. Uh huh, I bet there are. So, this is an actual tower. This is actually really cool. You know, just see this kind of makes me want to build in Minecraft, and I've never really thought about that before. But that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Building like a gigantic grave tower. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Um, I do believe there are Pokemon battles in here, so be wary. Oh, it's freaking dicks! Hey, Ash, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can't. No, I did bring up how. Um, keep in mind, he has a rat. Eradicate and also keep in mind that I said what brings you here. You don't have dead Pokemon. I can at least make them fate. Let's go, pal. <coughs> the fact that he says that it's kind of weird, and you'll see why. And he has a new spray. I can tell because he's holding three balls on his hat. He's always fondling the balls. <coughs> <coughs> no way. It's Kiwi versus Firo, or Kiwi versus or Firo versus Firo, or both at the same time. My voice hurts. Ah. Oh, great. Of course. Perfect. What a perfect way. So just pick a battle. There is a get super unlucky and only use it twice. Oh, heck yeah! I'm freaking genius. That was gonna be just as stupidly dumb. That was a critical hit. Seriously. Was that also a critical hit? Holy crap! Why did that do so much more damage? Well, I, I have a feel. Of, were they all? If one critical hits, do they all critical hits? Perhaps. Perhaps indubitably. All right. <coughs> Now it's only gonna be used twice! I should probably just use mirror move. Oh, great. Nope. Okay, that's three. Four. Let's say you say five. You're gonna really do this for god dang it, dicks. Okay, we're gonna do mirror move just because it's hilarious and it's pointless. Yay! Now die! I killed your bird before your bird killed mine, sucker! Okay, what's next? Magnemite. Um, heck yeah, I will. Now, will Pikachu's electric attack be super effective on it, or will it be not very effective? It's like stuff like that. It's like, metal conducts electricity. Does that mean I'm hurting it, or does that mean I'm not affecting it? Well, I guess we're about to find out right now, because I do not know. Oh, well, okay, I guess that answers my question. But see, that, that's like a valid point, is it not? Like, I feel like that would make sense, maybe. Okay, that did a lot more damage. Was that super effective? No, it was not. Okay, well, that seemed like to do a lot of damage. Yay! Damage! Shell- Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shelter! I need a Water-type Pokemon. I'm actually opting to get a Pokemon here, hint, hint, instead of Mr. Mime, hint, hint. And then I'm probably gonna get a Water-type Pokemon, which I actually do not know what I want yet. And then after that, well, then my Pokemon party will be full. Um, but to Sanshru! Heck yes, I'll change Pokemons! Um, I guess Bunny Foo Foo. <laughs> Seriously, Bunny Foo Foo, that's the dumbest name I could possibly think of. And actually, I was planning on naming more Pokemon after, like, people I've, I've, like, been around, I suppose, or watched my videos or anything. Um, like, you know, Kiwi, like I did for Kiwi, but I just haven't. Holy crap, I have over 100 health! 100 health on Bunny Foo Foo now, I did not even notice this. Oh, I totally knew. I was like, I'm basically gonna level up right now. <laughs> this guy is way too OP. Eevee! Yes, we shall go to Trippy. We shall burn him! We burn him to the ground! Doesn't Eevee evolve? I, swear, I thought he did. Did, 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 did. Dig. Um, 
I looked up Rage since I wasn't sure what it did, and I think it's just a continuation attack that gets stronger and stronger as it goes, I think. And it's only interrupted if I miss or I'm put to sleep or something like that. Let's see, will it do more damage here? I don't think so. But of course now I'm gonna start missing. Eh, nope. Yeah, let's do this. That was a critical hit! Well, okay then. I think the only way for rage that stops, yeah. Like, if you don't ever miss or get put to sleep, is if. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Is, uh, is if you faint or the Pokemon dies, which is crazy. Which is crazy. What? Why, why did I not get a turn there? Hello? Oh! I guess I still do keep using it if I miss. Oh, great. I'm just gonna miss forever. Are you serious? I'm seriously just gonna miss forever now. I'm just, I'm just type, tapping A for ever. Well, this kind of sucks. What's gonna happen now? I'm seriously stuck. I'm stuck in a loop. Are you serious? I can't do anything. Oh no! Well, that sucks. God dang it, Evie! I can't believe he killed my. <sighs> I will have my vengeance. In the form of a thunderbolt! I really hurt my throat when I do that. <coughs> uh, are you serious? That didn't kill me either? Why is this. Really? That's it. It's your dead son. Get out of your son, sucker. Thank you. G Bus. What? You stinker. Okay, notice. I took it easy on you, too. Notice how he had one Pokemon missing from his party, and notice how he didn't have Eradicate here. What does that mean? His Raticate is probably dead. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Ma uh, Marowak yet. I don't throw any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. So the fact that he's here and he says, Why are you here? Your Pokemon aren't dead. And that um, he doesn't have a Raticate in this party anymore. Seems to imply that his Raticate actually died, which is crazy. Which, does that mean he was fighting Team Rocket, or did he, did he just die randomly, or... That's crazy to me. And I'm back! So yeah, I don't know, like, I would've never figured that out ever if it wasn't for the internet. But, like, the fact that that was brought to my attention, that everyone's like, He died! There's no way he didn't die! It's like, it's crazy to me. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A self scope might be able to unmask them. What the heck is a self scope? I don't know. Sounds like a... Sloth scope. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, okay, there's an item up here that we can completely avoid the battle. Uh oh, what are we gonna fight? What are we gonna fight? What? A ghost up here? Darn! The ghost can't be ID. Was it just a ghost? Maybe that's the Pokemon. You never know. It's like maybe, maybe it's a freak. Can we attack you guys? Kiwi is too scared to move. Get out! Get out! Ah! Run! So I'm pretty sure you can always escape. I don't think they can attack you either. Find us. Oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. They tell you to escape, and then there's that. <laughs> Sorry, I just really had to spit. That's what she's doing. Okay, she's obviously possessed. Chad wants to fight. What if she just had a ghost and there's no way to get out of here? It's a ghastly. And what can we do with a ghastly, you may be asking? We can use fury on it. Maybe she could use peck. I don't know. I, re I really have no idea at this point. Um. Bye! Okay, maybe not. Oh, confuse ray, perfect! Oh god, I mean, it's so confusing! Oh, I did become confused. Crap! I was hoping maybe I wouldn't. There we go. Seriously, I like how my Pokemon seems to be able to just overcome the confusion every time. Every time, every single time, time, and place. Okay, there we go. I defeated her. It. The thing. It looks like a girl. <sighs> I'm saved! Yep, she was totally possessed. The ghost can be identified by the self scope. Where do I get that? Is that something I was supposed to get before coming here, or do I get that from here? I don't remember, come think of it. I should look that up. Okay, so literally all the Pokemon ba battles in here are ghosts. You know, let's put Chippy up front. He doesn't get any, like, playtime ever. He's just kind of like my guy that I rarely use ever. So I'm gonna, like, you know, start using Trippy more. But yeah, you can't. There's no way to, like, battle anything here. Kick, kick, kick. Kwa! That was the most Japanese. <laughs> Text I've ever read. Chandler wants to fight. Don't you just have another ghastly? Of course you do. Well, is this thing gonna have anything more than confused, right? Perhaps it shall, perhaps it shall not. Uh, let's try 
Let's not use Rage again. That went well last time. Uh, rage doesn't... See, I like Rage because whenever you get attacked, your attack power goes up. But I don't know if it's enough for it to really justify wanting to use it. Can we not... Did we miss last time? I was not paying attention. Oh no, it just did terrible damage. Like, terrible to the point where I did not even man it. Notice it was damage. Holy crap. Um, that was really crazy looking. And I forgot that move even existed, as you would imagine. So that actually kind of was like, whoa, that's crazy. So, Chugga Conroy just started his um, Animal Crossing New Leaf Let's Play. And before this, before watching him, I have never seen a new, any, any New Leaf footage besides before the release. Hmm? What am I doing? Well, you're being a crazy bitch! Sorry, I was possessed. <laughs> I got this straight up tell you that you're possessed. Oh, that's an unavoidable battle. Okay, so when I say unavoidable battle, I mean this. Be gone, evil spirits! Nope. So, as I was trying to say, um, as I was recording this, yesterday Chuck Conroy just released his uh, New Leaf Let's Play, and like I was trying to say, I've never seen a Let's Play, I've never seen any footage of New Leaf, and I've always been a huge Animal Crossing fan. I've played since, I want to say 2003, and for the GameCube, Animal Crossing came out in 2002. It was a year or two after it came out, though, so I've been playing for like 10 years, which is insane. And, um, yeah, uh, where was I going with this? But ever since I saw him, like, I watched his episode because it's like, I haven't watched a Chuck Conroy Let's Play in forever. He's just been playing games I haven't really been too interested in lately. But I played it, or I watched him play, rather, I'm like, I gotta get it. I, I just gotta get it. And so what I've been thinking of doing is, but the thing is, I've been thinking about getting a 3DS for a long time, and the only reason I haven't is because I want to get it with the capture card. Woo! The spirit left! I'm gonna go with the capture card just because I don't- I know I'll wanna let's play 3DS games eventually. And I don't wanna bother getting a 3DS without the capture card. Because I always feel like that's a waste of time. My friends are possessed too, but not really a waste of time, but... The only time I really play games anymore is when I let's play. Oh, I guess that was an avoidable battle. Um, I should really end off the episode. But, so what I've been thinking about doing is the capture card 3DS actually costs $445 plus shipping. Which is gonna be insane. But I'm gonna do it for you guys. But Animal Crossing New Leaf will be Let's Play it eventually, probably. But curse with me! I really got enough this episode. Um, but yeah. It just looks like a great game. And I did try to play 365 days on the original Animal Crossing. And the only reason I did quit that is because I felt like there was not enough material in the game to warrant playing it for 365 days. Like, I was already running out of things to do at, like, I don't even remember how far. I think I got, like, I got to day, like, 60-something, I believe, right? Maybe more than that. Maybe 70. And I was definitely feeling like it wasn't worth it anymore. And then I knew I'd want to try it again someday with a different Animal Crossing game. New Leaf is probably what I'm going to try it with when I get it. Um, uh, no, let's just, let's just stay with him. Even though I'm getting pretty low on the HPs, this is... Okay, let's just dig away. Dig away to victory! Did this do like zero damage? We need a better fire move. Seriously, Ember does nothing and I'm like a fire tower. Oh, that's super effective. I did not realize this. Okay. Well, anyway, so... I'm totally gonna tell this... What? This, this uh, episode was like, My next Let's Play Revealed! Or something. Uh, we can't correct the identity of the ghosts, and I'm not gonna even like, I'm not even mentioning it until like the very end of the episode, which I find lousy. Um, but yeah, so I guess we're calling the episode here. Oh my good whoa! Oh, he's scared! Aww! I was like, whoa, that's a scary noise. And yeah, well, he's scared. Thanks all for watching this episode of Pokemon Yellow. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my name's Chris, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!